What's the word, y'all? We back again with day two of consistent uploads. We are doing this all the way through the month of November. Going to rebuild all 30 NBA teams throughout the 30 days of November. So if y'all have not already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that noti bell because we're posting every day. Make sure you subscribe to the main channel as well. And let's get right into it. And here we are, 29 teams to go. It could be anybody but the Charlotte Hornets. So if y'all have not checked out that video, please make sure you go pop back and check that out. As long as we don't get the Hornets again somehow. Indiana Pacers, another solid rebuild team. I'm actually looking forward to this one. I do love this squad. So here we are, y'all. We're going to get our first look at the squad real quick. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, Buddy Heald, Chris Duarte, Jalen Smith, Isaiah Jackson, Gogo Badazzi, O'Shea Brissett, TJ McConnell, Daniel Tice, Benedict Mathurin, Terry Taylor, Aaron Neesmith, James Johnson, Andrew Nembard, Kendall Brown, Trevlin Queen. God damn, how many players is this? does this squad have bro yeah four reserves okay so we can definitely do something with that let me just fix the rotation real quick so kendall brown 69 overall shooting guard that's gotta go that's not happening I'm telling you right now um the rest of the squad i mean tyrese halliburton as a point guard love to see that uh i will definitely hold on to him same miles turner i want to hold on to miles turner bonafide shot blocker great defender can score a little bit in the post too definitely want to hold on to him uh jalen smith uh is definitely an up-and-comer i mean look at the difference in the two seasons I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Buddy Heald, always a great score to have. So really, I mean, Buddy Heald is one of those people, he's got a fat contract, so I'd be definitely willing to dish him to help out the starting five because, first of all, shooting guard is just fucking atrocious right now. So so right now I'm just testing the waters. I'm throwing Buddy Heald in a first-round draft pick. Uh, top three protected, actually, or lottery protected. Excuse me. Uh, and we're going to see. We're just testing the waters, like I said, to see if we can get anything. <laughs> nope, not happening. Get anything that can benefit us right now. Um, like for example, Michael Porter Jr., not bad, but you know, Buddy Heald, I still would just rather have him. But I'm nothing is you know reaching out to be Clay Thompson, so that would just be stupid. That would just be stupid. So something I rarely do is I'll check the um free agents list. So Miles Bridges for some reason is a free agent, man. And as you can see, he's been playing pretty well, like always. Uh so I definitely have way too many people to sign them, so I'm definitely just gonna trade some of these fucking G League scrubs away and just clear up some room. So I need to trade at least three people. Can I trade these guys? No, I can't. So what I'm gonna have to do with them is just fucking release them, because obviously, or sign them for the rest of the season. I could do that as well. Trade the lowest man on the roster that just to get some draft picks in return. Actually, no, that's stupid. I don't want to trade some of my own draft picks away if I don't have to. So let's go right back in there. A trade like that. See, I don't want to trade away draft picks for draft picks, if that makes any sense. I know I get two for one, but that'd be stupid. I'd rather get two for none, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I just did right now. So now we have enough room to sign another player. I don't know the cap space situation with Miles Bridges, and apparently we have enough to sign him. And I can sign him for multiple years if I would like to. Um, and I think that's going to be the move. Even if I do a sign-in trade with him, that's actually not a bad idea. Because I already got Jalen Smith, who's an up-and-comer. Uh, so having Miles Bridges definitely makes things interesting. I mean, Miles Bridges and Miles Turner, Miles and Miles <laughs> would be insane. But I don't think that's what I want to run. I mean, at least try to trade Miles Bridges, see what I can get for him. See, this is what I'm looking more for, like a shooting guard position, because... Like a Kendall Brown, whoever was it, was it Kendall Brown? I think it was Kendall Brown. Is not gonna cut it. Darren Fox, see look, another one, man. Another one. Another one. So right now it's between Terry Rozier and Darren Fox. I think I'm gonna, I might do the um, Darren Fox trade because I get Terrence Davis as well, who would be a great bench piece. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this trade. So welcome to the squad, Darren Fox. And Terrence Davis, my bad, TD. Okay, so now the starting five's looking not so bad. Darren Fox, Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heal, Jalen Smith, and Miles Turner. That's a solid starting five. Off the bench, Chris Duarte, who can apparently score. Same with Terrence Davis we got as well. Isaiah Jackson, TJ McConnell. You know what? I like this squad. I think I'm going to run with it and just see how the first season goes. So we finished the season at 42-40, and 40, so we clinched a play-in spot. So that's good for the first year, a playoff spot, potentially enough room to do some damage. So love to see that. Um, here are the awards real quick. I don't think we got anything crazy. I don't think anybody on our squad even fucking won anything, to be honest. Doesn't look like it. So, play-in against the seven-seeded Raptors, who I believe we beat a couple times. So, I'm actually going to go SimCast on this one because I want to see how close it is. And I'm also just going to make sure uh, my coach knows what he's doing and he's making fucking De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton play 41, 40 minutes a game in the playoffs. That is insanity. But, hey, man, 
I trust your judgment, dude. Let's. <laughs> I'm putting my faith in your hands, man. Let's see if you can pull this off somehow. And we're already off to a bad start. I mean, look how bad that is. Oh my lord, we're already behind what 19 points. Jesus Christ, not even a remote chance that we were gonna win that game. The Raptors just tore us to shreds. That's just insane. But it's only the first season, so I'm not too concerned. All right, so might have to look into my coaching staff on that one because playing game we lost by that much that's insanity but let's see what i can do in the off season i didn't even realize rick carlisle was the head coach so he's getting fired <laughs> so i'm about to do something kind of crazy i might let miles turner walk and go after chris daphrosingas but we need to clear up some cap room to do that so daniel tice getting nine million dollars let's get that out of here trade some draft picks away just get that salary cap out of here so let's see how far off we are now um eight million dollars now to be able to go after Przingis. so we gotta try to clear up eight million dollars more uh, who else is useless for that much money? I mean, TJ McConnell, mm, yeah, has not been performing to my liking. So, well, we can find another backup point guard better than TJ McConnell. I'm convinced. I'm really convinced. Here we go. Two two draft picks. Oh, my bad. There we go. All right. So, hopefully, that's enough to go after Przingis. I think it should be. Yes, it is. All right. So, we're going to give him as much as we can. Uh, just throw that up there. All right. And then, I'm a little concerned somebody might try to match it. So just in case, we're going to go after Christian Wood as well, who's a lot cheaper. So if I throw some money at him, if I throw some serious coin at him, he's definitely not saying no to us. So I believe um, we're going to get at least one of them. Agree. Okay, see, I, I can't take both, obviously. Uh, so Chris Dabs, please, for the love of God, don't get matched. We got our hands on Chris Asperzingas. We went from Miles Turner to Chris Asperzingas. That's a great, great upgrade. I'm looking forward to that. So guard-wise, I'm not too concerned. I think guard-wise, we're fine. Uh, forward depth could be a hell of a lot better. I mean, wow. Buddy Heald and Jalen Smith are our guys. Other than that, I'm not liking it. Chris Asperzingas and Isaiah Jackson as the one-two punch for the center. I like that. So we're going to keep that. Uh, maybe sign one more center, but I don't think we'll need them. <laughs> so... All positions affordable. Like I said, forward depth would be nice. So this Earl Jenkins guy comes up in every league and nobody ever signs him. He's 79 overall and he's decent, bro. He's fucking decent. Nobody ever uses him. That's why I'm definitely going to give him a fucking contract because nobody wants the man. I don't get it, dude. I'm going to give him a bag, but like, I don't really care because he'll get used. So like, we'll see how we go. <laughs> see how he does. So here is the new squad we're running with. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton is at an 87 overall. You love to see that. He's progressing. Beautiful help to us. Uh, Chris Duarte is actually going to be starting for Coach Stauffer. Okay. De'Aaron Fox, six man. We'll give it a shot. I'm fine with it. I don't know who this Benedict motherfucking Matherin, who the fuck is that? I don't know why he's starting, but Coach, you know what? Go off, man. Earl Jenkins, Chris S. Przingis. Okay. De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, Isaiah Jackson, Jalen Smith, Thomas Paul, Terry Taylor, Aaron Neesmith, Alton Dawkins, Vit Krejci, Luke Bishop, and that is the squad for our season number two. So I think with the addition of Przingis, to have Halliburton, Fox, and Przingis, and then Buddy Heald, we can include Buddy Heald, is solid. So I think we got a legitimate shot. So let's get to Simmons. So Tyrese Halliburton and Earl Jenkins are underperforming to my liking. So I'm definitely going to dish them, get Scotty Barnes and Precious Achua in return. So I think this will help benefit the team because honestly, I fired the head coach because we're f***ing 22 and 35 somehow with this squad. So I think the new squad, because like I said, we got De'Aaron Fox. So trading away Halliburton isn't too concerning for me. So De'Aaron Fox, Chris Duarte, Benedict Mathurin, Scotty Barnes, and Chris Dasperzingis. 88 and 87 in the front court, dude. I mean, come on. That's got to help right like come on i don't understand how the squad is so bad hopefully we can start winning some games dude so we actually finished the season at 42 and 40 once again so not the performance i was expecting out of this squad at all so i don't know if that's the 2k sim engine or my coaching staff because i think i built a pretty solid squad i really don't think it was that bad so we're taking a look at the awards right now uh nothing crazy to report i don't think we got anybody on the award side of things so let's just hop right into the playoffs because we did clinch a play on spot excuse me not playing spot we clinched a playoff spot this time not play in playoff six seed pacers versus three seed pistons so simulate the plan let's get right into it so who is this squad running with Cade cunningham jade nivey sadiq bay jeremy grant and isaiah stewart i think we can beat that team i really do i feel like i said it every time though we do one of these rebuilds i really feel like i just always be saying that so they win game one they win game two 
they win game three. Fuck my life, dude. Honestly, let's just make sure that, um, yeah, let's just make sure the rotation's all right before we go into this final potential elimination game. Let's see if that did anything, me just changing the rotation up, or the coach changing the rotation up. I don't know if that will save us here. Hopefully, maybe we can stay alive, or it doesn't look like we will. So, fuck my life. Yeah, we're done. Okay, we got swept in the first round, but you know what? We're getting a big name. Mark my words, we're getting a big name. I know it's a bold promise, but we're getting a big name in this offseason. Let's do it. Clear up some cap room, get rid of Buddy Heald. Is he past his prime? Yes. Can he do us a service at the three? Because we haven't been getting that service from anybody else. Yes, absolutely he can. So we're going to offer him that contract and bring the man back in because I'm desperate. <laughs> so we're running it up in season three right now with De'Aaron Fox, Chris Duarte, Gordon Hayward, Scotty Barnes, Chris Tasperzingas as the starting five. And then we got Luke Bishop, Benedict Rathorn, Isaiah Jackson, Tyus Jones, Dale Harden, Carmelo Anthony, who I snagged on a minimum deal at age 40. I simply just want Melo to ride the bench and get that championship. He so craves. You know what I'm saying? He's just going to ride the bench, and then we're, hopefully we get him a ring at the end of the year. Dwayne Gray, Herbert Elliott, Vit Krejci, and Dennis Hardy. That is the squad we're running with. Hoping for better results, new coach, some new players. Just please, for the love of God, don't go past season three. So we finished the season at 42 and 40. Nah, I'm just playing. We didn't do that three times in a row. We finished at 52 and 30. So we're a 50 plus win team. That's quite the improvement. Uh, here's your look at your awards right now. Uh, I don't think we really got anybody on the worst side of things. And honestly, who really cares? I'm just trying to win a chip, especially for Melo. Melo deserves it. So we're the four seed taking on the five seed Sixers. So let's simulate the play-in. See what this squad's running with. Uh, James Harden, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, Justice Winslow, and Joel Embiid. All right. Uh, it's still roughly similar. So, okay, we take game one. Game two, come on now. Game three. Ah, oh, fucking done deal, man. Sweep of that fire Sixer squad. Not gonna lie, man. Let's go. All right. Oh, the eight seeded Pistons, who swept us last year, I might add, just swept the one seeded Hornets, bro. Like, who does this squad have? God damn. Dude, LaMelo dropped 51 and 16, and they still fucking lost, bro. Like, what is this Pistons team on, dude? Like, what the hell? Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Sadiq Bay, Jeremy Grant, Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond has returned to the Pistons. That's interesting. So we take game one. We take game two. Take They take game three. We take game four. Come on, just finish it off. Oh, come on. Don't even go to game seven. Uh, thank you. Win in six. We are in the conference finals, baby. Let's go. Taking on the two-seeded Magic. Who have? Tyrese Halliburton. We meet again, don't we? Oh, man, he's out for revenge on me. He's out for revenge on my ass, bro. <laughs> Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Paolo Bonchero, and Wendell Carter Jr. All right, man. I don't know. This squad looks pretty good, but we win game one. They win game two. We win game three. They win game four. Pivotal game. We win game five. I had a feeling it was going seven. I mean, that's a solid squad. So the Grizzlies are already in the finals. We're in game seven. We're trying to just take care of business right now. Hopefully we get out to an early run, and we do. This game is a little close. Let's just, come on, take care of business. Let's go. Keep hooping, keep hooping. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is way too close for my liking, Doug. Whew. One-point game, slowest. Three-point game. I'm in. I'm in the game. There we go. Come on. That's got to be a foul. Like, thank you. Give me some freebies, but... What? What the hell just happened? So apparently they shot the free throws for me? I'm very lost right now. Oh, that's my bad for jumping. That's a block, dude. So what, we're just not shooting freebies now? They're just awarding two points if you get fouled? That's good D, that's good D. Let's go, my ball back. All right, who's gonna be open? Somebody run to the corner for a three. Not there, not there. Who's open right here? De'Aaron Fox, baby, for the three. Oh, that's green. Let's go! Oh my god, dude. All right, play good D, play good D. Do we have a timeout? We do have a timeout, so just in case we need to use it. Oh, I was going for the steal, but I could have fouled him, bro. That would have been bad, considering you don't shoot freebies. Ah! Got him! It's all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what, Deer and Fox? Over in the corner, give him the ball for the win! No! <laughs> Yo! No, don't you dare make that. Oh my god! Oh. 
We ain't done yet. Dude, rip to Magic fans. I'm sorry, bro. Like I said, we got a title win against the Memphis Grizzlies. Who got Ja Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Iviga Zubak. Did not say that right. But this squad is actually pretty solid. I can't I can't cap. It's it's, it's pretty solid. I, I can't I can't front with y'all. Alright, so we win game one. We win game two. They win game three. We win game four. All right, so I'm going to do something interesting here. Well, not really that interesting. I'm just going to make sure Melo's in the rotation. So when we go in for the Selly, I want to make sure Melo's on the court. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Melo's never won a title, at least in this 2K world, right? Because I know in real life he hasn't. So in the last few years, he hasn't been on any championship teams. Has he? No, he has not. Nothing. Okay. All right, Mello, well, you about to get yourself a ring at 40 years old, 41 years old, excuse me, look at that. So, this man hasn't even really played all year, I mean, look at those stats. But, he deserves it, man, he's been through a lot, Hall of Famer, in my book, for sure. He deserves it, so let's get this done. Okay, well, it's gonna have to wait, because we lost by 7 on the road, but you know, that's fine, give us a chance to win at home. That's it, y'all, we're going to Game 7. So, I just adjusted the rotation for Game 7 to make sure we had the best squad going out and we are currently up 13 second quarter oh my god we're up 25 now okay just hold that ginormous fucking lead it's a wrap ladies and gentlemen indiana pacers are going to be nba champions let me just get this down enough that i can just put mellow in the game because i want to because i want to see mellow selly on the court bro okay okay where is he now nah, i need mellow in the game subbing him in right now Oh, good steal. So I'm going to take a timeout and just get Melo on the court because I want Melo on the court when we win the finals. On the road, dude. Look at that, man. There he is, Melo. My guy. Old man Melo, age 41. Can I get a bucket with him? What are the chances I get a bucket with Melo right now? Just for the culture. Melo, Hall of Famer, baby. Ah, Melo still got it. I think he broke his leg. God damn it. I don't even know why I'm playing D. That's it, man. It's all done. You know what? Get it to Mello. Get it to Mello. At the buzzer, we're going to try and hit a three with Mello. Because I th I'm assuming after the season, Mello's going to retire. He's 41. He's going to have a championship. I think he's done. I think he's done everything he's he could have possibly wanted to do. Oh, God. That was an awful release, and he missed it. But what does it matter? We are NBA champions. Pacers fans, I hope y'all are happy to see this, and I hope y'all see it sometime in the future. I really do. Each and every team, I really hope y'all can experience the championship. I'm a Celtics fan. I've actually only seen one in my lifetime, but we are definitely spoiled to have so many. Same with Lakers fans. Fuck the Lakers, by the way. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please remember to smash that like button. Hit that noti bell because we are posting these all month till we rebuild every single team. So y'all do not want to miss out. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the main channel. And follow the links that are about to come. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.